you. Chair recognizes Representative Bobert for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so obviously the day that uh, he took office, Joe Biden unilaterally declared an all-out war on American energy production from shutting down the Keystone XL pipeline, which has been mentioned on day one, imposing new rules to block pipeline projects, canceling oil and gas leases on millions of acres in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico, imposing moratorium on uh, new federal oil and gas leases on federal lands, and he single-handedly regulated our communities into poverty. We wanna talk about lifting people out of poverty. Well, my communities and my district that I'm proud to represent have been regulated into poverty because these good paying jobs are no longer there. Now we're talking about affordable housing and childcare because the good paying jobs are gone. They're not in my district anymore. Um, and so what did Joe Biden do? Um, uh, he, he helped lead these record high gas prices right before an election by draining the strategic petroleum reserves. He depleted them. He begged our enemies for oil. Um, a lot of this has been brought up today. And Mr. Epstein, I, I would love to get to you. The Inflation Reduction Act, the IRA, was recently brought up, um, which is really the Green New Deal. And um, Mr. Epstein, uh, I I'm curious, um, would the Inflation Reduction Act, with its billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars going towards Green New Deal energy policies, is that going to protect us from a climate emergency? Uh, thank you. So if you're thinking about emissions, we'll talk in a second about whether there's a climate emergency, but if you're thinking about emissions, it's, there's obviously only one way to reduce emissions if you're talking about CO2 emissions, because it's a global issue, and that is to make low carbon energy globally cost competitive. So anything you're doing just to randomly subsidize the U.S., fleece taxpayers to make things more expensive or to do these things that can't work on the market, that doesn't accomplish anything at all. So what you need to do is things like liberate nuclear, liberate natural gas, liberate development so we can have things like deep geothermal, but you need real market things. So first of all, the IRA doesn't accomplish anything in terms of globally cost competitive solutions. And in fact, it keeps over subsidizing solar and wind uh, into indef the indefinite future, so it's a total mess. Also, this this idea of a climate emergency is a falsehood. There is a difference between climate impact and climate emergency. This idea that we're all going to die very soon from climate is empirically false. We're actually safer than ever from climate-related disasters. Fossil fuels have helped us do things like alleviate drought, um, you know, heat our homes when it's cold, cool our homes when it's hot. Like. Fossil fuels have actually made the climate far safer for human beings. So any concern with emissions should be long-term and non-emergency. It's actually this emergency mentality that led Biden to say, I guarantee you we're going to end fossil fuel and led to all of these catastrophic policies that you're uh, referring to. So what we need is energy freedom where all forms of energy can compete. And insofar as solar and wind can be cost competitive and actually provide reliable electricity, great. But forcing inferior energy on us is a disaster and it causes an energy emergency in the name of a phony climate emergency. Thank you, Mr. Epstein. And um, I have a simple question for you. Um, was America energy independent under President Trump's administration? So it was much, I would put it as is much, much more energy secure. That's how I would put it. Much, much more energy secure. And in part because President Trump was saying to the industry, we are going to leave you free in the future. Whereas I want to quote one of America's leading oil executives, Cody Campbell, who said, yes, Biden's war on the oil and gas industry is driving shortages and high prices. And he cited specifically the Democrats idea that the need for oil and natural gas is soon coming to an end. And Mr. Epstein, uh, Epstein, excuse me, um, would you say then America is not energy secure now? Yeah, we, we, we are less energy secure because we are more and more dependent on unreliable forms uh, of energy, specifically electricity, and we've threatened the fossil fuel industry going forward. And where I live in California is the perfect embodiment where we said no more internal combustion engine vehicles, and then five days later, Newsom said, don't charge your electric car. Correct. Um, Mr. Epstein, um, what should the federal government do to help increase our energy security uh, as quickly as possible? So, so the first thing is just to apologize. Like it's really, really important to say we have been in the wrong and I know that's, that's difficult, but uh, it, it needs to happen. And then this whole of government thing needs to change because the, the root cause is the whole of government attack on fossil fuels and the net zero commitment. I think a first really good action would be to immediately withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord and encourage every other country to do the same. 
that would be a great action. Thank you. I think an apology um, is necessary to the American people because I do see this as sabotage. Um, but Mr. Epstein, you have illustrated the dangers of energy uh, insecurity um, uh, and uh, abusing the SPR. Are, are we making other areas uh, in addressing energy uh, security? Yeah, so, so we're making many. I know we're about to be out of time. But we're making many, many other errors. And I, I would like to offer, particularly to uh, Representative Stansberry, who told several lies about me, if you want to know the truth about me and this issue, I will sign a copy of Fossil Future for you so you can learn the facts. Great book. Thank you, Mr. Epstein. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so every time I put out a video, you can know about it. It'll come up in your feed. Hit that like button if you liked it, and be positive. Peace.